So, Consuelo, um, tell us about how plants show sort of animal-like behaviors with their noses. So, we'll see a video here in a little bit, but so I think we all accept that insects can smell, mammals can smell, but I think people have a little bit of a hard time thinking how plants could do the same. So, the little plant, the yellow vine here, is a parasitic plant, so they don't have roots, they don't have leaves, so they have to attach to a plant to uh, acquire resources. So what this plant does is it smells the host plant and it will move into this behavior, like the circumentation behavior, towards the tomato plant. It's a parasitic plant. It's a parasitic plant. So they will attach to that plant and connect to the vascular system and take the resources out of it. So it's sucking the blood. It's sucking the blood, what, exactly. It's called a daughter plant? It's called the daughter plant. So here, just for you to see, this is, <laughs> this is a cascuda <laughs> with no host nearby, so there is no plants they can attach to. And you see the behavior is very different, right? You don't see any directional behavior. So you see this more random behavior, right? And this I use to say, if they don't find a host, they will oh. die. It's and it's sad. It's very it's sad. It's the death of the daughter. <laughs> so they try very hard to the very last bitter oh, end oh, to find. Oh, it's <laughs> tragic. <laughs> oh. And they smell oh, the plant. That's just... And they smell the tomato. Right, they smell the tomato. So this is to show how we can put the smell on this rubber scepter, and we enclose the tomato, and you see how they will grow to the smell now. Oh, this is just cruel. <laughs> <laughs> Cruelty to plants. I started a campaign. So that thing so, smells like a tomato. That smells like a tomato. Ah. So we take the smell of tomato, put in this little release um, device, <laughs> <laughs> and they try to connect to it. And the sad thing, actually, is that once they take a direction, they cannot go back. Oh. So they really do. <laughs> <laughs> I felt really horrible. Are you, telling me that, are you telling me that plants were killed in the making of that video? <laughs> so in the lab, we actually have this slide that we show that we never let the, the cascoot attach to the plant, so no tomatoes are harmed in our <laughs> experiments.